guys doing? Uh, Randy Richard in the shop. So, uh, just a one couple couple of quick things here, and then I'm gonna explain a little bit of a new project I got going. So, uh, anyway, I uh, launched uh, a, a t-shirt campaign uh, this morning, similar to what Tom uh, Lipton had done. I've been working on a logo uh, for a couple months uh, with my daughter. She's an artist. And so she's the one, the logo I have now on the YouTube channel, and uh, we put some color in it and things like that. So uh, the been a little bit of a work uh, effort there, uh, getting it so you, you can get it on a t-shirt and things like that. But anyway, so at teespring.com, uh, uh, Randy Richard in the shop there. I'll put the link up on the video to it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, they're twenty two ninety nine plus shipping and tax. I think comes around thirty dollars total. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to have to stockpile a shirt or things like that. So this is the easiest way to go. I set the campaign limit at hundred shirts. So well, they'll print them uh, if we can sell a hundred shirts. So I'll make it uh, about five dollars. I think it was maybe a shirt that's about it and I say I make it well all of all the money I make from videos or a the t-shirt thing in this case I'll go back into buying tools uh, for the videos or supplies or any everything to having to do with making videos uh, I've had a pretty good response to my videos it seems like uh, people like them I get awful nice comments uh, I am absolutely amazed that people like seeing what I'm doing in my shop. Uh, um, I have my glasses on here. I still love these safety glasses, Ray. They're still really good. I haven't tried a set of Ray's, that, Ray's uh, safety glasses up, and I don't know if they'll work for me. <laughs> so, But uh, anyway, uh, I appreciate all the viewers, all the subscribers uh, tremendously. and. This is somehow I can do something if you want to support my channel. Um, it, it will help. Uh, you know, so uh, it, it will, I make uh, very little on the, the advertising uh, for the YouTube thing. Uh, you know, you're lucky if I get $70 in a month. So uh, that's the way that is that's what that, it, it's not it's not like you're getting rich doing this you don't make videos on youtube to get rich uh maybe if you get a million million or two million views on some wild and crazy video but on the videos that all the guys in the machining community are doing nobody's getting rich on advertising um but anyway you know, uh, I've had, been asked about uh, shirts and other things. So we'll try, you know, if, if people would like to do that and support the channel, uh, here's so you'll get something for it. And, uh, you know, it, it helps. So uh, I appreciate it. Appreciate all, their, all your helps and all the comments and everything. Uh, it's, it's, it's tremendous. I have fun doing this. I love doing this type of stuff. Uh, I've been working in my shop since uh, 1986 uh, that's when I built this shop and uh, the, the amount of things I've made and, and uh, built or repaired is, is really tremendous I, you know over that length of time so <laughs> it's a lot of stuff and so I'm trying to share some of those things those techniques or things I've done or the things I'm doing now uh, and uh, that's it. I'm just, like I said, I'm a home shop kind of guy. And uh, that's what I do. And I do it for fun. I don't get paid. Uh, so, you know, but, you know, I, I'd be doing these, I, I'd be doing this anyway. I do this with my neighbors. I help them. I show them things. Uh, um, so I'm going to help work at my neighbor, uh, helping him with his uh, John Deere bulldozer right now. Uh, he's got hydraulic uh, pump uh, issues and things like that. So, we're trying to get that squared away. Uh, Try to get it squared away so we have it for fire season. Uh, we really, it's, uh, between him and I, it's, uh, we uh, both know how to run the dozer. Uh, it's uh, in case uh, we have a fire, 
a forest fire type thing and uh, we have the dozer and we can uh, help out protect our places. So, but anyway, uh, you know, so anyway, I'll put the link up to the shirts and that's uh, probably about all I'll say. I think they came out pretty good. Uh, my daughter likes them at least. So. <laughs> anyway, so I'm working on, I'm starting another project here and uh, uh, I'll, th this video will have some of that uh, on there. I uh, will show you the repair I'm doing to the Lance lathe and uh, uh, we'll get, it's going to be a several part thing, uh, several pieces that need to be made and and stuff. Uh, I already kind of got it apart, uh, so you'll see it all in place uh, and the problem. I'm going to show you all that stuff uh, and uh, parts we need to make and, and everything. Uh, so that's the control uh, controls for the lay, the, the, the handle uh, on the carriage that you can turn the lathe forward and reverse and stuff. So uh, anyway, uh, we'll get this video going and get it up uh, so uh, you guys can uh, get a shirt. Anyway, oh, it's on, I also listed the post on Facebook uh, and Machining YouTube. Again, another plug for Machining YouTube on Facebook. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to give you a plug to James Green. James Green's got a channel. He does uh, some uh, gunsmithing type stuff and he does... Uh, He's making some uh, cannons right now. So uh, visit James Green. I'll put his link on here too. And uh, Ben Zintner, the other gentleman who uh, uh, administrates, uh, him, James Green and Ben uh, are the ones who put the Machining YouTube uh, a page on Facebook together. And Ben, he has a channel also. And so he posts uh, some of the stuff. He works in a machine shop uh, down in down in the Central Valley. It's, well, I think... He's in Corcoran, I think. I don't not touch touch. I think he's in Corcoran. So that's down below Fresno uh, in the Central Valley. So he's uh, down there, and they do a lot of farm equipment uh, repairs and things like that. So uh, visit both their channels. I will make sure I get both of their links on here and the Machining YouTube link. If you haven't seen that stuff, uh, sign up, uh, join in, join in on the foray of the Machining YouTube. Uh, you get to see. Uh, a lot of the guys are posting pictures of the stuff they're doing today. That's what I've been trying to do uh, is post post things that I'm actively really working on right then. And eventually, you'll probably see it in a video. Uh, I'll just you know, I'll throw up a picture of where I'm at or something in, something in the middle of things. And uh, Same with like Adam. Adam's throwing Adam's on there. He's putting, putting up some pictures of things. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, a lot of the other guys are, are joining in there. And uh, if you have a question about something, uh, it's kind of nice, quick, and easy during the day. You can check on and you can ask a question and and uh, you know, maybe you can get an answer right away instead of you know, waiting for a video and, and uh, commenting and waiting for all that back and forth. Uh, there's, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good page. It's a nice, nice page. I, I enjoy uh, checking out what other guys are doing and, and stuff. I mean... Uh, Bruce Whitman uh, from uh, Australia, he's on there, and he uh, he watches and comments and uh, posts some pictures and stuff too. So uh, Bruce is a good guy down there in Australia. You visit his uh, YouTube channel. He's he's got a great machine shop and he does some uh, really nice work. Uh, that's his business, and uh, he uh, he does a great job. So uh, Bruce, visit Bruce Whitman's uh, channel also. So I'll try to get all those links on there. Alrighty, guys. Uh, we'll uh, swing the camera around, show you some of this stuff and uh, the repair thing, and we'll get it. All right, you guys. There's the uh, hand, the control handle right here. I'm gonna hand hold the camera to show you all this. Here's the hex shaft, and uh, I'm gonna try to try to zoom in here and, and and show you the real issue. If I can get this to focus, you can see the play. Uh, let's see here. Get this to focus. That's pretty good. Anyway, you can see the play in that. You know, it's like 30 degrees of travel. Uh, it's actually probably closer to 45. It's really bad.
So uh, this is this is one part, and this is a this here shiny part's a bushing. That's a couple inches long, and uh, just the end of it is hexed about. Oh, on this one it's about an inch. I'm probably going to go a little less than that. It doesn't need to be that. But what I'm going to do is, I mean, this is made of steel, but obviously something soft and it really wore. I'm probably going to, I'm making it out of W1 drill rod and I'm probably going to harden it. And so I'll be able to show you that uh, like I did on the slide hammer and stuff. And, but I'm only probably going to go, oh, half to a three quarters of an inch uh, of hex. Uh, we'll mill that out with the mill and uh, you know, get to see how I am. I do that uh, and harden it up and so it will slide on this uh, nice uh, the, the, I've measured several spots along the shaft and it has a little bit of wear a few thousands so it's not too bad and it's just a control shaft it's not something that spins uh, other than the rotation of the controls you know so anyway right yeah, there right there see it only takes about 15 or 20 degrees of rotation to really uh, turn it on and off. So we're going to take this whole thing off. Oh, here, back out. We're going to take this whole uh, unit off, and I'm going to show you that. I'll show you that on the bench. So over here is where the uh, extra handle is going to go. This is the, the gearbox uh, here. Uh, this is the shaft. The control link to the, the switches, and there's a set screw in here. That set screw is going to come out and we'll make the handle come straight out. It'll be about six inches long, as you can see there. Uh, pretty simple little deal there, but we'll make a nice handle for that. Okay, guys, we're over here at the bench here. <clears throat> so here's the handle that's in the normal position uh, and it's bolted up to those bolts onto the bottom of the apron. So it has a lock ring on this back side. <clears throat> that slides out of there. There's quite a bit of play there. Uh, like Ten thousandths of there. I might make it a little closer tolerance. So this is a <clears throat> this handle spring loaded. You pull on it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see here. This here <coughs> catches in that notch. <coughs> Excuse me. The notch is worn. Right in here and there. <coughs> so uh, <coughs> I'm thinking I might just braise that up a little bit. Make those edges uh, crisper. So other than that, nothing will be done with this. Uh, so these aren't too bad. I've already worked on those a little bit, and uh, it, it grabs okay. Um, the other thing I might do is, or, or I might weld up a little bit on here even. I don't know. I haven't decided. But this bushing is pressed into this, so we need to press that out. That's why I'm going to make a new bushing. And like I said, so it's hex. It's hex uh, down in here, about uh, about an inch. But I'm not gonna go so deep. It's no need to go that deep. And then this is uh, cut to the uh, little bit larger than the diameter of the across the points of the hex. So it's just slides that just slides on there as a guide. So we'll make it do one of those, press it in, and maybe do a little bit about this locking situation. And then we'll make it, we're gonna, like I said, we'll just make a straight handle for the end, other end. It won't be bent like this one. It's just gonna come out straight. I'll make a handle, uh, black Delrin is what I have to match this nice red one. Uh, you can see how this one's been worn. It was from hitting the, the the apron or the tray the chip tray I think it was the, yeah that's the only thing I can think of hitting there so uh, I made up a couple drawings I do have a, I made up a couple drawings and measurements uh, for all this so I don't know if you could tell here but let's see here 
if this here is a like I said a larger diameter and then we'll just have a half an inch of hex right here and this will be sliding over the points of the shaft then we'll just make this handle the straight handle for the other end so what that is uh, it has a it goes into a hole in that square shaft so that little pin part slips in there and then it's threaded straight shaft and it will thread the other end and then we'll have a then we'll make a nice little plastic handle that will uh, thread right on there that would be the same it's the same uh, size and shape as the red handle it would be black So that's the plan. Uh, we're gonna get. I'm gonna press that thing out and uh, press this bushing out, and uh, we'll get started on uh, making the new bushing uh, first off. Well, no, I'm probably gonna make that auxiliary handle first off because I want to use the, that lathe to make this. Uh, so maybe I'll, I'll do that. I'll get that handle made first uh, so I have good, good control. Let me know if Crescent Wrench does work. Uh, and then, uh, and then we'll, um, we'll make the new bushing. Alrighty. Let's go do some work. Blade work. <laughs> 